Hey guys, how are you doing today and welcome back for yet again another video. Now today we're actually going to be taking a look around my house. As you guys know, I actually did reviewing my house in Minecraft episode 1 right over there. And uh, we built another Riverside Modern House. Uh, so I hope you guys all like that house and this is the second one. Now just like the first one, I actually made this on a live stream with some amazing builders. Uh, so let's just get over to the science and give credit where credit is needed. So this was made by me, of course, Mikey Mub, uh, Inka Dinka, and <laughs> oh dear, um, and got video games 10. You didn't see that. Uh, now the interior was by me and Shivery and some other guy. This guy made this amazing lounge. I tweaked it a little bit, but it's absolutely breathtaking. Whoever made the lounge, let me know in the comment section because you need credit and that is one cool lounge. So this is the build itself. I hope you guys enjoyed that kind of cinematic. Uh, just trying to get you guys all hyped up. And uh, you know, this house, it turned out pretty amazing. So I thought it deserved one. So this is the house itself. I'm gonna tell you about how it came to be and who did what in the house. Uh, so me and Got, uh, Inka Dinka and Mikey, were designing probably, I'd say about this section of the house on live stream. Uh, uh, we also did some work over the back, but I didn't like it. So the other day I came on, I removed the back half of the build, completely redesigned it, and we got all these kind of cool like little shapes going on now. I think the actual house shape of this turned out pretty damn wicked. I definitely haven't seen much like this before. I included like a little hot tub in this side area, which I just, uh, I think that was, that was just like such a smooth feature. Mikey Mup, he put in one of his famous signature trees on the server. This guy is, he's like the king of creating trees. He makes some absolutely beautiful trees on the server. So that's enough said about the house itself from the exterior. Another thing that I really want to say is, this house was kind of experimental, you know. I started making this a while ago when we were just starting to kind of release publicly our texture pack. And I wanted to include like many features into this house, just showing you what you can really do with the texture pack itself. So you're probably gonna see a lot of really cool designs. And you know, if you're building on my plot world or you're on my creative server, you wanna pick up some cool ideas uh, of what you can do with a texture pack, this is a great video for you. So we're gonna step into the lounge first of all. Really, really sick design, whoever did this. As you can see, taking advantage of the BCS texture pack right here with this dough pass table design. That's looking amazing. A few people questioned me and said, what is this built? These are actually some doors on the wall <laughs> to uh, make a TV. That is some creative thinking right there. But if creative thinking couldn't get cool enough, check it, check this out. Like this fireplace, like this is a piston set on light upside down with a bottom chopped off with stacked doors on the top with a uh, end rod feature, which is of course the kind of smoke extractor and just that design is absolutely crazy. So, you know, that's why I really want to find out who made this lounge because it is so lit. Uh, but great job, guys. If you worked on the lounge, you did a phenomenal job. It's looking amazing. Then when we step into the kitchen, I actually designed the kitchen in this build. Uh, so I kind of I kind of tried to shiv it up a bit and go with a really cool kind of concept uh, heat extractor, as you can see right here for the cooker. We then got this really sleek kind of worktop an extension over here to uh, the sink, as you guys can see, which is pretty sleek and pretty cool looking. I then have a uh, fridge and I used the actual door for the fridge that I elevated it by one block and built it within this pretty cool sleek design. I think shivery overhauled my table, you know, I came in one day, uh, I made a cool table, I came back, I saw an even cooler table. So I'm betting it was Shiv that did this because Damn, dude, this is crazy. You know, you can't doubt Shiv with his interior skills. That man is just phenomenal. So we have this pretty lit like little kitchen out here. Uh, so you can eat breakfast or dinner, you know, here, wherever you want. Or you can actually go outside if it's a nice summer's day. And you can go over here and eat it on that outside kind of dining room. Also, because this is a riverside house, I wanted to take that into consideration and kind of, you know, show off the views and the beauty of this place because... Just look at that guys, this area is, you know, you gotta admit, it's pretty damn beautiful. So we have like a little balcony out here, you say like you could get some like, uh, like chairs out here and just chill one afternoon, you know, watch the sunset or whatever, this place is uh, pretty well positioned. Then when we get to these back two rooms now, Shivery did these, 
I attempted these two back rooms. Uh, the shape of the house was so crazy and so mad, I didn't know how to fill it and like how to lay it out inside here, but Chivery, he's an absolute master when it comes to layout and just general interior design. So I let him have at it and the results, I think they're gonna blow you guys away. So let's get in here. So this is the bedroom first of all. You got a bed, a really cool kind of like wall divider. Uh, we then have this really cool sleek looking office table right here, which is just, just guys, look at this. This is inspiration right here. What you can do with an awkward piece of space, right? Just check that out. That's that's what I said, guys. I was like, I don't know what to do for this area. And it's just look what the man has pulled off. <laughs> Absolutely crazy. And through here, you can see the mob tree, the Mikey mob tree. You've got like a little window here so you can, I guess, open it up and get some fresh air into the room if you need to. Then behind here, this is also pretty amazing. So this whole area, this awkward like shaped space right here is a bathroom. And just look at how he's broken it up. So you have like a little sink and a towel right here. You then get through here, we have a little place uh, for a toilet as you can see. And then you get over this side and then we have a shower design built in. And just look at what's actually, <laughs> look at what's actually gone into making like just the piping for the shower. Like, Honestly, just you know crazy stuff. That's what ha well, that's what's happens. That's what happens when you get shiv in your house to do some stuff You know you get some pretty pretty crazy lit results uh, So when we come through here, I guess this could kind of be like a guest bedroom if it needed to be But I'm kind of guessing well like my main guess is that this is a kind of chilling area So you've got this like chaise lounge kind of thing right here slash bed uh, You then have this awesome LED light design just check that out for inspiration. That is amazing. We then have like a little built-in modern bookshelf. So I guess, you know, if you want to watch some, uh, no, if you want to read some books and just lie down, you can do that. And yeah, it's just really, really awesome little room we have right here. So that is it for the rooms of the house. Uh, we're going to check out the outside area now, but you know, I think it came together pretty well. Actually, I'm really glad with how the whole design came out. This is one funky house, you know. It's uh, definitely very experimental. I've never really worked on or built anything this kind of crazy before, but I, I'm just, I'm really glad with how it came out. And uh, guys, please do let us know in the comment section what you do think of this house. I think it came out pretty cool. Uh, so for the outside here, we have an outside eating area. Once again, just kind of, it just allows you to appreciate the beauty of this area because Palm Beach Riverside is a really gorgeous uh, place. It's made by a builder on our server, a wild Frenchman. Uh, you might have seen him on the Corrales Inspiration series recently. He's called Manu. And uh, Manu landscaped, edited, made the river for this place, set up the custom tree palette. He really did help us uh, get Palm Beach, you know, up and out there and uh, help us create loads of new awesome, amazing plots for people to build in. Uh, so I wanted to have like an outside seating area just to kind of appreciate this area because it is pretty beautiful. And then we have like a little stereo system over here so they can eat dinner, just kind of chill, listen to music. And someone actually has taken on Pretty cool project over here. Well, look, I went sideways. No, I didn't. Uh, let's get back to the house then. So that is pretty much the house itself. Not a massive video, I know, guys, but I just kind of wanted to show it off. I mean, it's kind of awkward uh, re reviewing your own house uh, because I'm not used to it. And, you know, you kind of sound cocky when you're reviewing your own house. You're, like, constantly, like, saying good things about it. Um, but I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And uh, I hope you liked the house. You can check this out in Slash Warp Palm Beach. Here are the coordinates on screen now. If you do have trouble finding it, you're going to spawn over there near the townhouses. You just have to take the stream down here and then you will arrive at my house. So uh, thanks guys all so much for watching. If you liked the video, please do smack a like on it. Leave us some comments down below. If you could, that would be amazing. And yeah, hopefully I'll catch you guys in my next upload. See you there.